To add a food in MyFitnessPal to make it really easy to find in the future, we're going to use as an example a recipe from my five ingredient meals cookbook because I have all of the nutrition facts in the table of contents. And if you follow the recipe the way it's written, it will come out pretty much the same. So let's say we're gonna add a food for breakfast. At the top right, there's a plus sign. Click it. From that list, choose create a food. For brand name, we're gonna call it homemade because you made it. For the description, we're gonna use the name of the food. So in this case, I'm going to do smoked salmon tartines from the cookbook. That is a fan favorite. And then one serving will be, let's say, one slice or whatever. It doesn't really matter what you call that. Okay, so now we're gonna put in the nutrition facts. This is the important part. This is in the table of contents. Smoked salmon, sar smoked salmon tartines, uh, they are 402 calories. Um, and then if you go to fat, I only give you three facts. I give you fat, protein, and carbs. So the fat for that is 21 grams. You have to scroll down a little bit for the carbohydrates, which is kind of annoying, but that is 26 grams. And then you have to go down even further for the protein, and that is 25 grams. And again, that's all in the table of contents of the cookbook. So now that we've put in all those facts, I'm gonna hit the check mark at the top right, and then it's asking you to add more info. You don't have it for this, so you're gonna click no thanks. Now you can see it just popped up in your breakfast. You could swipe to delete it, or if you really were gonna eat it that day, you can just leave it. But the most important part is that now my fitness pal remembers this recipe. So you know, if you go to the next day, let's go to breakfast and let's hit add food. Look, it's in your history, which is really easy to add. Or if you didn't see it in your history in the list there, you would just click search for a food, type in smoked salmon, and there we go. That's how easy it is. That is why I like for clients to add foods whenever they you know, start eating something consistently or it becomes a repetitive part of their diet. It's much easier, much, much, much easier and more accurate than adding each uh, ingredient individually, like the smoked salmon and the toast and the cream cheese. Just make a meal like that by uh, creating a food and then it's much, much easier.